Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Christian and Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. This is going to be a reading for Pisces September. I'm sorry, guys. I have been having problems with my Wi-Fi, my phone. <sighs> Long with videos that are longer than 30 minutes. I had a hard time uploading. I did the videos and then I had to delete them, which was super annoying. So I decided to do videos that are no longer than 20 minutes if I can help it. And so far it's been good. This morning I did Virgo and um, Cancer. Um, looking completely toed up. Just woke up. So this is me after my workout and a little bit of makeup. <laughs> Hope I look more presentable. I look super tired this morning. I had just woken up. So Pisces, uh, real quick, the astrology. We had a full moon in your sign. So I think you guys are... I think you guys are definitely getting into realization, wisdom, epiphanies. I think the key word here is realization for you guys, Pisces. Um, something you've waited for, you finally see clarity in it. Answers, right? Answers. And um, we have Mars and Aries, so that creates a lot of friction for everyone, right? This is in your second house. So it might be, it might have to do with maybe career. For you um we have uh, venus and cancer your fifth house passion right and uh, so basically mars is doing an aspect to venus and cancer in an as there there are three aspects mars is aspecting venus and venus is expecting capricorn right and air uh, mars is aspecting capricorn too so and guys remember we have um like neptune in his house of Pisces we have Mars in his house of Aries we have Mercury in his house of um, Virgo about to go into Libra and we have Saturn in his house of Capricorn so very very heavy energy here it's very important to um, really 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 take our time here in making the decisions that matter and that will impact our life okay so Pisces here we go this is your September we're gonna start with the Muse Tarot we're gonna jump right into it and then we'll get some oracles I have the Queen of the Moon Oracle since it was your full moon see what the moon has for you or had for you or whatever or still wants to gift you you guys do well with the moon though you do and then you have Neptune there too so your ruler in your house so I think this is feeling good and then we'll do the dark mirror to see what you might have missed or what you're kind of not wanting to see okay all right here we go Pisces September spirit what does the Pisces September Pisces. I feel like I feel like I want to turn on some sage for you guys usually I do it and I cleanse the card but for you I feel like I want to turn on some sage so that might be pertinent for some of you cleansing 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 clearing 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 protection okay cleansing and protection first cleansing and then protection all right here we go Pisces so we're to for Pisces please September Pisces Pisces I decided to get, to take the news tarot just to hold on to summer a little longer did I just spit hold on to summer a little longer and then my nails are yellow so it is it's beautiful still beautiful here in Paris still warm today earlier this weekend it was raining but uh, I gotta say for the past three days we've been having good weather still okay so first card how did it come it was it reversed no ten of Pentacles pure beauty look at those roses flourishment growth, unity, family, collaboration, um, it's like a tight-knit, like, tribe, family, it could be your literal family or just your soul tribe, beautiful, look at them, they're, st they're around the tree, this is pure stability, right, it's the Ten of Materials, which is the Ten of Pentacles. It's towards Virgo Capricorn. Like I said, you guys are good, Pisces. I felt it. That's beautiful. They're adults, children. It's like a, it's a coming together beautifully. And it's grounded. And it's, it's prosperous. It's abundance. It's 
three, it's, it's, it's 360 degrees of abundance, which is a sphere, right? Which is a circle, which is completion. Tens are completion too. Every completion brings a new beginning. It's wholeness, right? Then you have the two of voices though. What is kind of a little throwing you off here? Two of voices is the two of swords. Something is, there's a decision here. There's still something that you haven't gotten an answer to. Whether you have to find the answer or somebody has to give you the answer, you're in limbo. You don't know which way to turn, left or right, up or down. Let's get more. Two of swords. Hmm. But I feel like it's not stressing you at all because I feel like been a while you've been like you know doing the work and I feel like here so queen of voices queen of swords wanted to come reverse but I always take them upright and then when I get more cards I understand if it was meant to be reversed or not so you have the queen of voices here which is a queen of swords she does not play she will swing you with her huge feather she is protected she has done the work she is soulful insightful experienced and very um decisive and knowledgeable she does not talk about stuff she doesn't know or she hasn't experienced you know or she doesn't have receipts for it. proof the crow yeah air energy oh yeah look at her she's very confident she's sitting she knows what she's talking about from experience and she's not gonna let anybody tell her otherwise she she might listen but she sticks to what she believes because she knows she she knows what she's saying she knows what she's talking about so maybe you get support from your family and they help you in making a decision they help boost you up, you know? And they give you back that confidence. Because we do have the Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, let's clarify. Ten of Pentacles, we know what Ten of Pentacles. I mean, there's no need to clarify that. That's amazing. But, I'm still going to clarify because it's really weird to get the Ten of Pentacles and then the Two of Swords after, right after, and the Queen. See, Ace of Swords, but it was reversed. Hmm. Yeah, let me continue here. Like I said, I feel like you got insight from someone and they gave you so much clarity. You consorted with family members or it was a meeting or your father someone older, someone you really trust because you were lost and confused. Yeah, strength, mm-hmm, under the two of swords. They gave you strength. Yep, yeah, definitely. Leo energy. One more card to spirit. Here we go. Then we have the queen of wands. So Pisces, let me see, give me a second. Yeah, I definitely feel Pisces. I definitely feel that you got some advice from family or a group of people that you trust that uh, you've known for a while, right? That are very wise, that know what they're talking about um, from experience. Could be some inspiration about work, like I told you guys. Remember, uh, Venus is in your in Cancer, your fifth house, and then your second house is Aries, and there's Mars there. So, like I was saying before, plus this Ten of Pentacles opening the reading, this could definitely be about career. Maybe you're being um, Ace of Swords reversed. 
this is like judgment this is victory you're waiting on an answer from a corporation maybe this could be that ten of pentacles a company right a big corporate corporation not a small one ten of pentacles and you're waiting on an answer you applied and you were waiting you were waiting that could be it too and in the meantime you're in limbo because you were not hearing back you're like should i contact them again or should i call them what should i do but see you know you're confident you know what to do this could be the other scenario you're confident, you know, you trust in the divine, you know your capabilities, you have a good feeling, you've been feeling awesome lately. Your readings have been amazing for the past, well, the ones I've done for uh, the past four months about something. There's been work that had to be done, but this is a strength card. This is after like, uh, this is trusting in the divine. This is knowing your worth. This is having courage. This is going within and reconnecting with your true power, okay? So, and then you have the Queen of Voices, which was reversed. You now understand why. Again, like I said, maybe you wanted to reach out and get annoyed, you know, because that Martian energy can be kind of like um, snappy. And maybe you're like, oh, I'm just going to call them up. What the hell? What's going on? Why am I not getting an answer? I'm confused. I don't like feeling like this, right? But... You decided to be like, listen, I'm just going to stay in my confidence. I know my worth. I'm going to bite my tongue. Queen of Swords. I'm not going to, you know, be all know-it-all and all that stuff. I'm just going to watch and wait, standing in my power, in my confidence. Right? You have two confidence cards here. The Leo card and the uh, Queen of Wands. This is pure confidence, Pisces. You are standing in your power. You are really balanced right now, Pisces, I feel. There's, there's confidence, a sense of wisdom, knowing. Um, you're very connected um, to your, your intuition, too. You're in your true power right now, Pisces. Because you guys are the last sign. You guys are, you wrap up the zodiac wheel, which is when you have learned all the lessons and you ascend. And I feel like you guys have ascended, right? So you're waiting on something. You're waiting on information. You applied for something. The answer you're waiting for has arrived. Your confidence has paid off. That's what I'm hearing. You know, I started with the family uh, thing. It could be that too. Like I said, you were confused. You didn't know. You were waiting for a phone call or something. Or uh, you didn't. And you, you turn to your family. And I feel like you're very close to your family or some kind of group. That you trust maybe you guys go to AA. I don't know where that came from or maybe you guys go to meetings you know empowering meetings maybe groups online it's a group that empowers you whether it's family or just a group let's just call it a group of people you trust that you know have your back and they came and they took care of this confusion and they gave you back your strength right and they was like they were like no 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 don't even speak up do not don't go there. Don't go there, Pisces. Queen of Swords reversed. Just wait. Know that you're worthy and confident. And you got this. You got this, Pisces. Look at that. I don't think I'm going to call the reading. You got this. Queen of Wands and the Strength card. You definitely got this, Pisces. Okay? I don't see love here. This is all about mental and pentacles. So this this is definitely work for you, Pisces. I feel it. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what we have from the Queen of Moon Oracle. Remember, guys, I have to make this reading short if you want to get to it. So far, I've been doing good. Cancer and uh, Virgo had 22 minutes, and it uploaded, like, really fast. So if I'm lucky, I'll be able to do um, five signs today and five signs tomorrow, and that's awesome. I have to stick to the to the tempo though. I stick to the 22 minutes. Anyway, going off course. So yeah, Pisces, whatever answer you were waiting for, it's here. Whether or maybe you had, you already had, you already got the answer, but this is because you trusted in the divine and you stood in your power and you used judgment and wisdom. Okay? Or because you have people around you that really have your back. And I was very supportive of you. 
that are there to pick you. Not to say you don't have that, but you know what I mean? It's nice to have that kind, those kind of people around. It's very rare nowadays. Especially because people are not themselves lately with everything going on, the retrogrades in Capricorn and all that stuff, Mars. Even the people we could count on are starting to act funny. I feel it. People are acting super, super, super... I'm just going to say crazy. Crazy. And stable. Not this, it's not their true nature, but it's just the energy. It's very heavy energy. If you can't, like, control it, it's just, like, it could be overwhelming. Look, balance. What did I say? Bottom of the deck. Your balance brought in this new be beginning you were waiting for. Your balance, Pisces. Exactly. See? You didn't go in your head. It was foggy, right? Two of voices. Like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? No. You decided to go with your intuition. See how she's holding, like, kind of the moon in her solar plexus. You decided to go with your intuition and to trust in the divine. Okay? And to just stay, like, to do your best to stay um, on top of things, you know, mentally. Not let it fog your, your, your thoughts, you know? And, and if you couldn't do it by yourself, you knew exactly where to go to get that, you know, to get that, um, that boost, that cheer, you know, you got a lot, you have, you have some good cheerleaders here. People here have your back, whoever this, this group is, they really do have your back, Pisces, in case you were wondering, they do, because you have new beginnings here, okay, it's a two, balance again, what was the balance card, it's a ten, new beginnings. Ten, bring new beginnings. Ten of materials. Pisces, you're about to be very, 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 very happy. And you deserve it. Because you did not give in to fear. Or you recognized your fear and you decided to seek, you know, to, 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 to have perspective with it. And to, 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 to ground yourself and not let it get all like, you know what I mean? And even if you didn't have the answers, you knew where to go get them, which you're so lucky. And you went and got them, and you got your answers, and now here's a new beginning. You got your balance, you have the Ten of Pentacles, you are secure financially, um, grounded. If you guys were looking for a job, you're getting it, and it's a good job. Like I said, it's a corporation, it's big, big, long-term, long-term abundance here with this job. If it was something you were trying to take off the ground, you're getting answers about it, whether it's a something to do with a lot of people, a hotel, or you're working in, um, it was a position where you had you know, to oversee other people. There's a sense of group here. I don't know what this is, group. Support from the group, you know? A corporation, something. But you, you got this. You got this. And here comes a new beginning, that new path. Look at that green. Reminds me of that Ten of Pentacles energy, right? Which is earth. You're onto green pastures. I'm not going to say greener because I think you're good, Pisces. But if you thought you were good, you're about to be awesome. Awesome reading here. Wow. Wow, Pisces, you did it. And you did it all by yourself. We're still going to get a dark mirror card. Like I said, it's what you're not seeing or what you refuse to see. Okay. And then read from the book. One more shuffle. These can be intense. It's a warning. But, you know, hey. Won't you, won't, won't you rather know before it hits you by surprise? Although, I, you guys are very intuitive. Because you have the queen of inspiration here, confident, super confident, inspired, gorgeous. Standing in your power, basically. Queen of pentacles and, I mean, queen of uh, wands and the strength card. You're definitely standing in your power. Naked before the stars. Whoops, let's read it. Naked before the stars, which is a nine. I feel like that's the work you've done because it's almost like she it's a nine so it's almost like she healed well we'll see real quick so here they have the visual seed which is they describe the card then they have sentence and then they have going dark you know 
which should be the shadow side. Okay, ready, Pisces? All right. A beautiful, curvy woman wears lacy lingerie. One is a black corset, and she kneels in her full sensuality. Queen of Wands energy. Under the lights of a million artificial stars. Sentence. There is no perfection. No, sorry. There is no perfection that is worth enough. There is an imperfection as proud as the heavens. See, that's that confidence again. What do we... Okay, that's the sentence. There is no perfection that is worth enough. There is imperfection as proud as the heavens. Deep. Their sentences are so deep. Hmm. What do we see when we look in the mirror? Do we see something we like or something we dislike? Something we care or something we are slave of? What do we compare ourselves to? To the stars of a media firmament leaking into our real life? To the social models? To the beauty queens and kings of the eternal pageant? To our inner self? To the idea we had when we were younger? To the eyes of the people loving us? I wonder what feeling the words curvy, cute, chubby, fatty, rounded, arouse with, uh, within us. If a smile or distaste or, or recognition, the quest for beauty, the quest for beauty, sorry, is not an empty quest. Even if beauty is not as deep as the ocean, still, when we shine, our, our world becomes brighter. But we will always feel naked in front of the stars. We should just learn not to blush and stand proud. This card is about accepting your own beauty, no matter your size, color, your age, no matter what. This is standing in your power, Pisces. Okay? Didn't I say? Totally. Totally this energy. Totally. Don't let anybody judge you or diminish you or make you feel lesser than. I don't think you do, <laughs> but I think you, you kind of had a hesitation. That's why you had that two of swords here. Don't, don't, Pisces. And I think, like I said, you picked it up. You, you kind of had like a, mm, you fumbled a little bit and you're like, oh, almost, you know, but because you are strong and you've done the work and you're in a good place right now, Pisces, you are so connected. <sighs> You are like, your vibration, you've, you've ascended, it's a big word, but you know what I mean? You see clearly that you caught that right up and you were like, wait a minute. And you took back your power or these people helped you, you know, come back from that rabbit hole you're about to go down. All right, Pisces. So anyway, good, good. This is awesome reading right now the energy feels amazing there's something amazing coming your way i don't know what it is and you did it and you should be proud okay pisces i love you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe guys i forgot to tell you guys thanks for supporting the channel if you haven't already subscribed and now ring the bell comment share like helps my channel grow also i have a donate button on my banner you have a heart it's a green heart and it says donate and you can donate me through through sorry paypal uh, if you want to it helps my channel grow and stuff like that so it's really helpful for me and i appreciate it so much it's a karma donation so i love you pisces bye take care